In this video, you will learn how to use the text file import function in PowerGold to create a new database, saving hours of time it would take to manually enter song information. Click Navigate PowerGold, Database, Import Data from a text file to open the text file import window. Since this is a new import, its button is clicked to launch the text file import template setup, a wizard that will help with the import. The first step is to select the import file. Use the browser next to look in to path to the file, choose it, and click open, where a sample view of the text file is displayed. A file with a TXT extension like this one can easily be read or opened by any program that reads text like PowerGold, and for that reason is considered universal. Clicking on Next advances to Step 2, where the format of the file is defined. This is a fixed width file, meaning the information lines up in columns. The first row of this particular file does not need to be imported. Putting a 1 in this field will let PowerGold know to begin the import on the second line. The date format only applies if date information is being imported. If the file contains a special character between multiple artists or composers, PowerGold will separate them during the import. Most of the time, a text file will contain one row of information per song. The next step is to mark the start of each column by clicking on the first position of that column. The beginning of the first column is already marked. Click above the T on Title, the A on Artist, and continue until each column is marked with a B to indicate the beginning of a column. If a position is marked in error, simply click it again to have it go away. The final step in preparing the file for import is to assign each column to a field type in PowerGold. This is easily done by clicking the blank gray bar above each column. The first column is ID, and it's being assigned to the song miscellaneous field. Next is title, artist, and so forth. If a wrong field is chosen accidentally, simply click it again, choose Unassign, and then assign the appropriate field. It's not uncommon to have fields of information that do not need to be imported. Any column that is not assigned to a field is automatically ignored during the import. All but one field type in this text file are song fields. However, Tempo is a field type property. Since this is a new import, it's easy to create a new property and assign it appropriately. When step two is finished, click Next to choose an Add option. Since category was assigned in this text file, choose the option to add all imported songs to the category specified in the file. Otherwise, all songs will be added to a default imported songs category. Modify options do not apply to this brand new import, but can be helpful in subsequent imports to the library. To show what modify options can do later on, the runtime field was purposely left unassigned. For now, click Next, and then Finish, and give the template a name. Click Use the file specified in the template. For a new import, nothing else needs to change. Click Perform the text file import. When completed, acknowledge the import completed message. Close the text file import. Click on Library to see the results. Widen the columns of information, add additional information with the custom 
Display Editor by adding fields like Miscellaneous and Tempo. And this confirms a successful import. But notice run times are missing, defaulted to one second. Since the import template was saved, let's return to the text file import and use the modify option to update this. Since the import template was saved, so too were the column assignments. Just a quick edit. To the template to assign runtime and we're finished. We still want to use the file specified in our template. However, this time let's examine the modify options. Now that we have an existing library but just want to update it only, the appropriate choice is Modify Existing Only. However, if the text file happened to contain new songs, then Modify Add If Not Existing would be the choice. In this case, either choice is fine. For PowerGold to update the existing library, a match field must be chosen. A match field is the existing song field containing a unique identifier on each song, usually a number or file name. The unique ID in the previous import was a number and assigned to the song miscellaneous field. Therefore, song miscellaneous is the match field. The text file specified in the template will be used again, and it's time to perform the text file import. During this import, PowerGold compared the song miscellaneous field to the now assigned runtime field, and when there was a match, the runtime field was updated on the song appropriately, and the import has completed. Let's double check the library to make sure our run times did come in properly. It's important to make a backup immediately after confirming the first successful import, as the only undo when performing any kind of import is to restore a backup. Finally, as long as there is a unique match field, PowerGold can quickly and efficiently modify any kind of song information and add new songs, opening up all kinds of importing possibilities. If you have an idea for a PowerGold video, let us know. Thanks for watching.